beautiful friends it's Amanda here and today we're celebrating National Lipstick Day. If everything goes according to my plans then this video will be posted on National Lipstick Day which is Friday July 29th. Good news for all of us lipstick lovers and Colourpop lovers there is a huge lip product sale on the Colourpop site. The sale is currently active and it will be active through the 31st. So it's half off all lip products. Obviously exclusions apply because don't they always? There are a few products that this sale does not apply to. Pretty sure it's just their latest lip launches. I know that the new Disney lipsticks are not included in this sale. Probably some other things too, but the overwhelming majority of lip products on the ColourPop site are on sale, 50% off, very good deal. So I'm going to share with you my top 15 picks. I tried to make it 10, but I just couldn't narrow it down. 15 is the best I can do. So hopefully within the 15 different formulas and shades that I'm going to recommend to you today, there will be something for everybody. Before I get into the lip swatches, a couple of things. First of all, because these products are currently on sale, you won't be able to use any discount codes. Obviously the sale's a much better deal for you anyway than a code would be. So don't apply any codes to these sale products. If you want to support any of your favorite creators like myself or anybody else who you follow who gives you good recommendations, then you can just shop via their commission links. I always have commission links down in my description box and I always mark those with an asterisk. If you're watching this video after the sale is over, then you can use my affiliate code. It's just my first name, Amanda, and that will save you 10% on pretty much everything on the site. So if you missed out on the sale, don't worry. These are still my favorites. I still highly, highly recommend them. You can still save a little bit of moolah using the code Amanda. Okay, last bit of business before we get into the lip swatches. Pretty recently, I did a very in-depth video. You can call it a deep dive, if you will, into to all the different ColourPop lip formulas. They have many different formulas. It can be a little bit overwhelming trying to figure out what all the differences are, especially when we get into something like a lip gloss where it just seems like a lip gloss is a lip gloss. So I have an in-depth video about what all the differences are. I will link that in the description of this video if you want any more information about certain lip formulas. What do these names mean? What are the finishes? What's the scent? What's the applicator? look like. I go into all of that super in-depth in that ColourPop lips video. So make sure you check that out after this one so that you can know pretty much anything there is to know about all the different lip formulas. I'm also going to do lip swatches for all of these as well as live arm swatches. But for any further formula info, just refer back to that ColourPop lips deep dive video that I have linked down in the description for you. All right. Let's dig into my top 15 favorites. These are not ranked. They're not in any particular order. My ranking would probably change day to day, season to season, just depending on how I'm feeling. However, one thing remains true. This fourth ray lip mask, the coconut lip mask, is an absolute staple product for me. I use it every day, all the time, multiple times a day. I basically just use this as a lip balm. It sits on my desk and I love it. As you can see, it's almost gone and I already have another one on the way to me. Highly recommend. This is the first lip product that I'm gonna recommend to you. I'm not gonna lip swatch it because it's a clear lip mask. It's basically a skincare product, but it is included in the sale and it is one of my all time favorite lip products. So definitely highly recommend this to anyone and everyone, unless you don't like coconut, in which case I would recommend a different scent, but this one's my favorite. Next up, we have a couple of glosses. These are the So Glassy Glosses, the newest lip gloss formula from ColourPop. And these two shades have been in constant rotation for me, especially this one. As you can tell, the logo is very worn off. The shade Newport. And I've also been reaching for this slightly darker nude called Huntington more and more. However, this shade Newport is what I wore very recently to my sister's wedding. So I think it will just always have a little special place in my heart, a special place in my history. But when it comes to the ColourPop glosses, these are my top two picks. <laughs> Okay. 
Next up we have the Just a Tint Lippy. From what I've seen online, you either love this or you hate this formula. Personally, I love it. I know a lot of people don't like this scent, but another one that has a practically vanished logo because I have used it so much and loved it so often. This is the shade Gimme S'more. Now let's talk about the glowing lips. These will probably be no surprise. These two shades, Let's Jet and Museum Date, have been in so many of my monthly favorites this year. I actually had to go retrieve these both from my purse because that's where both of these were, along with quite a few of these lip products, but I was actually carrying around both of these shades with me on the daily. That's how you know you love a product. If you are going to go film a favorites video and you have to go to your purse to retrieve it, it's a staple. And the ultimate way to know that something is a favorite is if you have to buy another one. That's why this is brand new. This is the Fresh Kiss Glossy Lip Stain in the shade Sugar Snap. I had to replace this product because I used up an entire tube of this lip product. I loved it so much. This is actually what my sister wore to her wedding. I did her makeup for her and this was her lip color. By far my most used and most loved lip color of the year. This is the only thing that I have completely used up and had to replace so far this year as far as like an actual lip color, lipstick color, and I think that says a lot. <laughs> Now let's talk about some more traditional bullet style lipsticks. These are the Luxe lipsticks. I absolutely love these. I'm sad to see that so many of the shades that I've enjoyed over the years seem to be completely discontinued. I hope, hope, hope this line doesn't get discontinued because I love the Luxe lipsticks. Thankfully, my top two current favorite shades are still available on the site. We have the shade Still Crazy, which is a beautiful pink color, and this was actually in my favorites bundle with ColourPop a couple years back. I got to do a favorites bundle, and it was called No Shrinking Violet, and this was actually in my favorites bundle, so you know it's a favorite. And then this shade called Gallop is just the most beautiful, deep terracotta, fall-tastic shade. Really something for everybody, I think, between these two, and both of these shades are really flattering across a lot of different skin tones as well. <laughs> And last, but never least, one of the OG ColourPop lip products are their lippy sticks. I absolutely love the lippy sticks. These are a product that have really stood the test of time. A lot of these colors have been around for a really long time. And obviously I love lippy sticks because as you can see, like half my favorites video are gonna be lippy sticks shades. They just got this fancy new updated packaging, but a lot of the same beloved colors have remained. So these are my top six favorite lippy sticks shades.
whether you are shopping for new colors or just shopping your stash to celebrate National Lipstick Day. I hope you found this video helpful or just had fun hanging out with me. I always like that too. I would love to hear what your favorite ColourPop lipsticks are, what your favorite lip products in general are, your all-time favorite lip shades, no matter what brand they come from. I always love to hear what you think about things too, so make sure you leave all your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! What's it like? Being really weird. Okay, you know what? The hair is just... it is what it is. It's really humid here, and I have very curly hair, and I just air dry my hair, and curly hair plus humid plus air drying equals whatever this is. So we're just... you know what? We're going with it. Going with the flow. Get it? You get it. You get it. Look at this amazing purple eyeshadow. I will for sure have a tutorial and a review of this palette because shades really cute. I'm back. I'm back. I think it goes <laughs> on the color, on this, uh, mm, not nailing it. Sometimes when I'm editing these videos where I just have my hair free, it's like 50-50. Wow, my just naturally air dried hair looks so great and so beautiful and what a little mermaid goddess you are. And then the other half of the time I'm like, ooh, you look like you need a stylist, a flat iron, a hairbrush, some spray. You need you need help. And I don't really know which one it's gonna be until I watch the footage back later. You know, maybe I'm always existing somewhere in between both of those realities. <laughs> That's fine. Please, Colourpop, if you see this video, make more Lux lipsticks. Don't get rid of the Lux lipsticks. We love the Lux lipsticks. I know it's a lot of nude shades, I know. But the thing is, that's what I like to wear, so it'd be really weird if my favorites didn't have what I like to wear in it. You know, picking up what I'm putting down? Being honest. This has to be one of the best reds of all time. It's definitely one of my all-time favorite reds, if not my actual favorite, all-time favorite. So vibrant, it's so comfortable, it's just, mm, trust me, it's good. See what I did there? Now I just have to edit this so that you can watch it. And you know what? That's my favorite part. I'm glad that you're here watching and I hope you have a great lipstick day or a great Friday or a great whatever day it is for you. Hope it's a good one. And I appreciate you and I appreciate your face. See you real soon in another video where I certainly won't be wearing red lipstick because I rarely do. But if I am, it's probably gonna be this one because it's one of my favorites. Okay, you already knew that. Thanks for watching. I love your face so much. Okay, bye.